And welcome back to Old Man Dax. I actually forgot to hit the unmute button, so this is going to be a voiceover for the first, like, nine minutes. So this is my solo world. It's not very, uh, not a lot of progression. I've been playing Realms a lot lately, but I did want to go ahead and start doing some reviews on these add-ons. So with the update coming, um, I'm going to be doing a hardcore series, uh, streaming it every Friday or Saturday. I haven't decided yet. But I did want to check out this add-on right here in the middle, this chess pet add-on. It um, allows you to make a pet, and it's a chest. And I guess it follows you around, and you can ride it as a mount, um, either with a saddle or wings so it can fly. Um as we go through, I'll go through all of the different recipes and stuff that go along with it. Um, I know there's a sword and there's a light and all of that. If there's any other the add-ons that you want me to review, just let me know. And I will gladly uh, go through any of the free ones for sure. I'm not going to buy all of the add-ons because I there's some stuff I just don't believe in. You guys know, if you follow me, I'm more of the vanilla... Don't change it too much. Um, but with the Hardcore series, I am going to be going a little bit beyond vanilla, just with, like, I want to get all of the uh, the animal one. So, and I think the farmer one, too, for the different crops and different stuff, just to make more content. And it doesn't really change the vanilla thing. It just adds to it. Um, but here's the ones I have active here. So I have the furniture... Uh, hikers, the chest pet, the more TNT, the gravestone, which I won't have in the hardcore series, and all the wool, which I'll definitely be using on this one for, um, like, my, I think my main gate to the castle, because I am going to be building a pretty big castle in this one. Um, eventually, like I said, it's just my solo world. I just play it every now and then. I, I don't get too involved in it. It's pretty, pretty slow and steady, but I'm going to be using it to do these ones. Um, So, oh, and it does come with a book, just like the rest of them. So uh, we're going to go in, and as you can see, I got like a little starter base. I got a couple little farms. I got some of the trees that from around here. There are a couple of villages um, right close by, which is kind of nice. Um, so here we go. So when you first open it, I guess it gives you the chest and a, a heart right away so let's clear the inventory here make a little bit of uh, space and we'll have some coffee all right so the chest pet and you get a bunch of these hearts so you need a heart to activate it I guess for the first time and there's looks like eight different things you can do for it. So here, there's the heart, and that, that's my hiking stick. It makes you actually walk faster. It's pretty good. Uh, the hiker one is free, and then you got mimics. So they they say they spawn at night. I saw a couple through the day, and mostly around villages. So I do have some villages pretty close by, and they will drop all the different stuff. There are some rare ones that uh, they call them bosses. So I'll actually have to go out and try and find those. So for the hearts, the first ones, you can either use glass around an emerald or you can use one of those heart things that you get off Mimics and an emerald. Uh, to make an extra chest, you just need some wood, so fairly early game. And I click on everything except for the book. I said this this add-on is very very self-explanatory, um, very easy. There are a couple of advanced ones like the uh, the beacon and the netherite arrow shooter, which is just going to take you a little bit to get, but all still doable. I think it's going to be a great addition for anyone that plays survival. Like I said you make uh, a fleet of these. They're aimed. So here's the here's where I am looking at the villages. So there's one there, one there, one up in that corner up there, and then one down here. I'm not sure if it's there or there, but I know there's another village down there somewhere. 
So there are lots of villages around, so I'll be able to find lots of mimics. And we are going to go out and try and find um, some of the rare ones. Uh, what was I getting at? Oh, yeah, so if you're going to do a big build and say you take like five of these guys and each one, you know, you can color change them so you can have them all set differently. So I am setting them down for the first time. Then you need one of these to wake them up. And when you wake them up for the first time, it gives you a chest stick and a name tag. So you can name them whatever you want. I'm going to name this one. And when we're doing the hardcore series, um, I'll let you guys decide what the name is. But I think for this one, we're going to call him Chestor. I think, uh, I think that's probably a popular name for this guy. Uh, a little swig of coffee. And we're coming up just on six minutes here of me uh, accidentally forgetting to unmute. And back to the book. Let's see what... Uh, I think I didn't understand right at the very beginning that the recipes were actually in the crashing table and I didn't have to look in the book. But... Uh, yeah, so there he is, and like I said, you fill one of them up with shocker boxes full of supplies, and you take like five to ten of them, you're going to be able to carry a lot of supplies, and they follow you around pretty good. They do have a mod for uh, boots that make them walk even faster, So, and they definitely are hungry to fight. They will fight everything. The aim with the uh, shoulder cannon is basically what I'm going to call it is uh pretty uh pretty slack so you can't just put a saddle on them you gotta actually craft a saddle which we will figure out here shortly you know read, read a book it uh, it helps So as you can see, they will go up and they will punch. Um, eventually, we're going to make him uh, a sword. Get them all outfitted. Here's the mimics. So as you can see, we're not near a village, but uh, actually we are. We're just like across the river. So there's another extra heart. And another one. Like I said, eventually, once you make so many of these, you're probably not going to want to fight any more mimics. But that won't matter. And uh, they're basically just like mobile storage. And like I said, in hardcore, I'm going to be there all by myself. So this kind of just gives me a little a little fighting buddy to help me fight some things and maybe help keep me alive and not have to make so many trips back to town to get supplies and stuff. I can just load them up. And I don't think they take any damage, so that, that's good. And we're yeah, about coming up, so yeah, see, we can't hit them. We're about coming up to where I actually remember to turn on my mic. So we're going to head back over to real time and uh, finish this one off. Pretty quick, actually, which is good. Just gonna scoot over to this village right quick. We gotta figure out how to uh, make him rideable. Ah, right there. Okay, so saddle heart. So we need to make one of those and those lantern. Heart. Okay, so. All right, let's head back to the house and let's get some stuff made. I got a little bit of stuff. I'm not sure if I got enough to uh, do all that, but we do have some parts, so that's good. And uh, I definitely want to be able to ride them like a horse, because right now, I said this world is brand, brand new, and I don't have a lot um, done. I pretty much stayed right here. And, 
yeah, so I don't have uh, Elytra yet. They, I haven't been to the end. None of that stuff. Um, this world's actually probably going to be like super, super slow. I'm not going to, not going to rush it. Come on, Chester. Hurry up, buddy. Let's go. Uh, so this is the stick from the hiker's guide. that makes you get uh, speed two and jump boost two. Just over. There you go. All right, let's uh, get you to sit, and we're gonna put the book, and let's start with. So we need glass and an emerald. Make a dormant heart. Okay, so we got emeralds here. Let's put some more stuff away. This is this is stone. This is my junk one. What's that? Let's gravel. Need more. Oh, what's that? Yeah, gunpowder there in the corner. You need to make one of them a void chest. Okay, glass. Do we have glass already? A bunch of sand there. Ah, glass. There we go. And we can make 11 of them. Start with four, and we'll go from there. So now, or an emerald and a heart would have done too. Let's check that out and see. Emerald and a heart. Emerald and a heart. There we go. So we could have done it that way too instead of wasting glass, but I'd rather just waste the glass. All right, now. spot. Let's put it over here. All right. So, uh, you'll need it. So, my daughter asked me if you could have more than one. So, let's test that out first. So, Follow? Yeah, so it looks like you can have more than one, which is good. So when we go to do something, uh, I don't know if I have any more name tags though. I don't believe so. All right, well, we're just going to name tag one of them. Okay, next. So, lantern heart. So you need four lanterns, four torches, and that. So let's get two lanterns. No, I think we need. Let's just take them all. Yeah, I needed four, so I need eight and eight and that. So let's make. I'm just going to make one for now. Uh, gives Chesto a lantern to lighten up the dark. Okay, so how do we give it to him? Just like that. Alright, so he's going to light up the dark. Now, a saddle. So I need a saddle. So i got to go back out and get the saddle off the horse. Ooh, we got another one in the daytime. Oh, there's one over here too with a hat on. I wonder if they kill him if it uh, does any better. 
Oh, we got a hat. Okay. Give this one to. Oh, chest door is going to have the saddle on. So let's do the other guy the hard hat. All right. So let's take this. Look at the amount of hearts they have. All right, so now we got a horse. Perfect. Okay. We'll scare off creepers. Oh, we need to go find some rabbits. And. Oh, run faster. Do I have five more leathers? I need two more leathers. <laughs> okay, um, I'll have to go find a cow. Let's see if there's anything else we can make before we go. Um, okay, so we got the saddle, so you got, we'll scare off creepers, we'll run faster. Okay, sword heart, we need an iron sword, we'll equip a sword, increasing attack damage. So, iron, iron sword, some sticks, and one of them hearts. Okay, so let's grab our iron. And this is the bones. So, we already got an iron sword. And that, does it have to be a full one? It does not. Okay, and we want two of those. Because we want each of them to... Uh... There's another iron sword. That. There we got two of them because we want both of them to fight. I don't know if uh, wooden turret heart. Let's give that to the other guy. It's just do a weak range turret. So we need some planks. So let's make some planks. There we go. And a piece of string. Back in there. And an arrow I'm pretty sure we have, so we should have enough to do that one. Thanks, string. Oh, are we missing we're missing a heart. Okay, so let's uh make more of these. And wooden, well, there's enough for two of them. We're just going to make one. New. Oh. Iron turn heart. What did we make? We made the wooden one. Okay, and then there's that's the sword chest. Okay, and then we have the diamond one. Oh, and here's the wings. Oh, we need to fight phantoms. And then this is the beacon one, which we're gonna get later. Okay. 
so they're all here in the uh, recipe book. So diamond, do I actually have diamonds? I don't think I've gone down to get any diamonds in this world yet. All I have is emeralds. I'm going to have to go diamond hunting to get the diamond one. But for now, we will uh, definitely do um, this. Oh, we can have both. Okay, so let's uh, put the wood one. On. Oh, yeah, so they could have, they got range and they got that. And I think you have to make them sit to interact with them. So sit. Okay. So there's that. And that. Some emeralds. There's a lead. You got some of your hearts. Let's put some iron in there. And we might also put some wood. Glass, light, and there's some coal for some and There's an ice pick. I haven't figured out what the ice pick is for yet. Now let's make this guy like a utility. So, silk touch, there's a fortune one. And the hammer for when I need to go do that. All this stuff is garbage. Um, okay, let's just check the book one more time. Make sure that we got. All the because uh, we didn't see the shoes in the other one. The cannon. Okay, so there's the iron one and the diamond one. We have to go diamond hunting and get some diamonds. And they have another right one. Wow. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go. And then the wings. I don't know if I have any phantom membranes or not. They might have to wait for nighttime and actually fight some phantoms to get some phantom membranes. Yeah, I don't think we have any. Oh, I had a bunch of iron swords I could have used right there. Oh, well. And what about feathers? I don't think I have any feathers off of chickens. No. All right, we're going to have to make a chicken farm. And fight some phantoms all right and there's the beacon one okay there's the die so where's chesto I want one of these thank you uh, actually two of these and what are we gonna do we're gonna go for one two three four five six seven eight of those and then let's go with a blue or red? Uh, let's go with the blue. Okay, so we got black dye and we got blue dye. And we're doing a crafting table. Got a black and a blue. Okay, Chestor is going to be black, and the other guy is going to be blue, just so his hat kind of pops out. That looks nice. Okay, and Chestor, you can stand back up and turn around and look at me, buddy. Don't look at me. Fine. Okay, so that's how you dye them. Uh, Lucky Hearts. Lucky Hearts drop from powerful biome mimics. Uh, these spawn in ice. Desert, jungle, and badland biomes at night. Lucky Hearts will give you a random chest heart. Okay. Chest wand. Control.
Ist auch nicht ganz. Okay, can't really read that last page, it goes by too fast, but it seems like uh, we just need, so we want the wings so that he can fly. The heart one, what was that? So we got a lantern, so he lights it the way it looks like it's just on his belt, and uh, so let's make another one of those for the fighter guy. So we just need the lantern and one of those, I think, and that's all it was. Yeah. So there's that. So now these guys will... Oh, yeah, see, it puts a little utility belt onto them. Okay, so we got... Uh, I wonder if... Uh, we can make him an iron one, too. Oh, we need the, uh... Right, that. That. Okay. And to make the iron... Okay, we got the iron one now. So now that we have one, let's see what happens when we put. So it looks like it just takes it and doesn't give you anything back in return, which is fine. The wooden one wasn't really that much. Not inside of it, but we got uh, now. Do they gives Chesto a weak range, medium range turret? So it doesn't say how much damage it does, it just says, Oh, maybe. a medium ranged turret gives a strong ranged turret hmm. it's a powerful ranged turret okay okay so we gotta wait for nighttime oh it's nighttime we should go out and fight some uh oops let's uh get him to stand up and maybe they will actually fight Uh, terrible. <laughs> I was hoping for some fans, but we might have to wait for the next night. Okay, so the uh, arrows aren't really the best in the uh, now, I'm just wondering if I combine the stick with these guys. Actually, he's pretty fast by himself. And then with the stick, yeah, I think the stick adds more speed. So unlike the horse, it doesn't uh, automatically go up.
I just can't get over how much health they have. How's the other guy doing? Do they just teleport right to you, or... Doesn't seem like it. Seems like we lost them. Oh, there's some wild, uh... Cows. We need, uh... More leather. That's kind of nice, so when you're sitting on them, you actually open up the inventory, opens up both of their inventories. Okay. Oh, there's one. Okay, now let's see. We got chest door here, and we got a pirate hat. Everyone knows I like pirates, so let's see. Oh, yeah, you can still see the saddle, so you know that it's, uh, oh, he's looking pretty cool. Okay. And we did get a couple extra leathers. Pet school hat. I right, might have to put that on another one or set up like a collection area. I don't know where my where uh, the other guy went. The top hat. Oh. I think we just got rid of both hats. I don't know where they went. Oh no, he still has the school hat on, but we lost the uh, <laughs> the pirate hat. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. So, I would say, if anything, where he has the saddle and he's actually going slower, we should put the shoes on him. Oh. That's that. Probably that. And let's go through there. Okay, we got the extra leather, we need feathers, and a string. Alright, here it back guys, I know we got things here somewhere. Oh, I think we gotta go at the other door. Excuse me, cow. I did set up a little, tiny little farm here. We got a couple of cows, a couple of sheep, a couple of chickens. Good. Back up, guys. Come on. Okay, so we've still got to hunt for that. We're doing this one here. So I need a string and I need one of them black hearts. So we're going to need more 
glass. Oh, and we need an emerald uh, chest door. Okay, we got that. We might as well make boots for them both. Uh, what was it? String? Did I not get enough? I only got enough for one pair of boots. Alright, well we're going to give it to Chester first, I think. Just so that we can go super fast on our mount. Oh yeah, look at the boots. Okay, so we put that away, we get on. Okay, so we got light. They follow pretty good, so it's I don't think it's that bad of an add-on. And it's pretty quick, like glass, pretty much day one. Knock down some trees, cook the sand. The emeralds might take you, you know, a little bit. You can raid a village. Oh, one second. I see this nice little farmer's hat. Come on, give me the hat. Darn it. Okay, like I said, when you get them all souped up, so making one just to follow you around for when you first start, super easy. You can knock down some trees and you're good to go. You can, but you need the heart to get them back, to get them awake. Um, so a little bit of iron, some sticks, some coal, and you can have a guy with a light follow you around pretty early game. The saddle uh, might take you a minute to find to be able to ride them. Uh, scary one. Keep creepers away. So flint, easy. Copper and that, easy. Tropical fish, eh. You can go fishing to get them or find a warm ocean biome. So, And then some rabbits hides. Uh, might take you a minute to make that one. Uh, hides, string that, so to make them run fast, that one's early game. A couple iron, a sword, and a thing to give them uh, swords, early game. Uh, the wooden one, early game. Early game for the iron one, which is what I have right now. Like I said, this world is early game. I don't have diamonds, and I don't have netherite. I don't have the phantom membrane, but again, a few knights and start fighting some phantoms. And you might be able to fly, like, really, really early. Dye them whatever color you want. Early, early game. The beacon, late game. The main reason I got the add-on was for the beacon one to travel around with me. So that wherever I'm at, um, I can have the beacon. So I'm going to get a bunch of them. And basically, when I start my hardcore world, it's just basically somebody else to game with me and help me and like I said once you get late game oops let's sit him and then imagine having like you know 10 of these with you and all full of shocker boxes I'd be able to go do a big build and I want to keep running back and back and back which would be nice uh, so that's a big one die them any color so lucky hearts it's the only one I don't really understand lucky hearts drop from powerful biome mimics these spawn in ice, desert, jungle, and badland lands at night. Lucky hearts will give you a random chest heart. Okay, so 
just like a random one. So you could go to the biomes fight and say the ice one, and it could literally give you like the wings one, or the or the netherite uh, arrow shooter one. Okay, so that's my review of the chest add-on. Um, all the recipes pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Um, a lot of extra storage. Like I said, eventually we're going to be going to the end and getting some shockers on this world and uh, it doesn't seem to add too much leg we're just gonna sit them there for now and we're gonna go edit this video and get it out there for you guys uh, so leave some comments if you want to see any of the other add-ons um, like I said I showed you in the beginning there I got uh, a few of them on here the, one of the, the free ones there's a bunch of videos out there already but if you want me to go over my opinion of it I just get an update on this one and this one so I'm gonna go check them out I haven't explored the TNT one at all. Uh, I've done a little bit with the wool island. I'm going to be using it here for the gate for my uh, castle. And, uh, yeah. So, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.